Hi, I'm Heather with Heather Lang Homes. Happy New Year, it's 2022. Let's dive right in. We're gonna take a look at single family home stats for Santa Clara County. We're first gonna compare uh, November to December of this past year and then, or December to November. And then we will take a look at 2021 as compared to 2020. So let's dive right in. As discussed last month, we had low inventory starting off at the beginning of December, end of November, with only half a month's worth of inventory. And we saw that go down another 20% in the month of December. Again, this was expected as it's a typical trend that we see this slow down at the end of the year as people celebrate uh, the holidays. This was also reflected in active listings, having gone down by 32% pending sales having gone down by 40% from November and closing sales having gone down by 22%. That said, there were still plenty of buyers out there to get the job done. We saw this reflected in the list to sales ratio having gone up by 1%. So that's still revealing a nice solid and stable marketplace where um, buyers had to uh, spend 11% over ask price in order to get into contracts. So sellers were able to reap their top dollar uh, even to the end of the year, with homes taking an average of 16 days to get into contract, a little more than what it took in November, but again, still a nice strong and steady market. The average sales price went up another 2% from November, now resting at just a bit over 2.1 million. And the average price per square foot went up by 1%, averaged at $1,074 per square foot. The 30-year fixed interest rate bumped down by 3.27%. And this is for the, uh, again, the 30-year uh, conforming fixed rate as noted by bank rate. And this may have also contributed to the buyer's high motivation to take advantage of those low interest rates that ticked down wanting to just get their home and take advantage of that extra purchase power at the end of the year. Let's now go ahead and take a look at our overall stats and trends, taking a look at 2021 as compared to 2020. And as we review that, let's remember what happened in 2020 um, in our quarters. We started the first quarter coming off of 2019 with a surge in uh, home prices, lower inventory than that of 2019. But again, because of that low inventory and high demand, we started the first quarter in 2020 uh, with record-breaking uh, sale prices again. And then we saw a halt to that in uh, the second quarter of 2020 due to the pandemic shutdown. As things opened up again, then we saw inventory increase through the third and fourth quarter, which again is uncommon seeing such a steady flow of inventory all the way through 2020. So that said, overall in 2020, we had a um, more inventory than what we saw in 2021. Um, even though that took even though there was less inventory, the stats are showing, and this could just be a little wonky because of the interruption in 2020, we did see overall active um, homes in 2021 were 7% higher than that of 2020, pending sales 22% higher, and sold stats were also 27% higher than what we saw take place in 2020. Putting this again into perspective, uh, in 2020's, 2020's overall month's worth of inventory, if we averaged that out, it was just a little less than one month of inventory. Whereas 2022, if we average it out through all, throughout the whole year, we still only saw less than half a month's worth of inventory um, in all of 2020. Mortgage rates remained low in 2021, ending the year at 3.27, again, for the 30-year fixed uh, conforming rate. That's 10, that was still a 10% increase from the conforming rate as noted by bank rate in 2020, uh, December of 2020. So we are still expecting um, 
We are expecting to see interest rates continue to rise, probably not very fast. We're not hearing any news of that necessarily happening in the first quarter of 2022 um, as experts are watching inflation and our recovery. It's been an ebb and flow recovery due to the pandemic. But we are hearing word of interest rates, uh, in particular mortgage rates rising throughout this coming year. Key stats that are most um, telling and support the fact that 2021 was a record-breaking year for single-family homes here in Santa Clara County is seeing that the average price per square foot rose by 18% and the average sale price increased by 20% from that of 2020. Again, all of this while we're still working to recover from the, the COVID uh, pandemic. It's not over yet. Experts are projecting that 2022 will be similar to 2021 and that overall prices will continue to rise, likely seeing the higher competition among buyers and the highest appreciation of homes and sales prices taking place in the first half of the year, very similar to what we saw in 2021. And that we will likely see um, that uh, just uh, decrease or not be as frenzied as we go through the second half of 2022. Um, clearly, clearly overall sale prices have remained steady without dropping in any significant way, and we remain in a seller's market. So buyers should not expect any kind of sudden drop or drastic change um, from, from this trend. And rather, buyers, if you are interested in home purchase, a home purchase, anytime soon, doing that now, getting yourself set up, uh, uh, approved and find out what you're eligible for. Your purchase power this year will likely take you further uh, than it will as interest rates rise. And as we talk about that, this, let's go back and take some lessons from what we saw um, as changes took place between 2018 and 2019. If you recall, inventory remained low and tight for the first half of 2018, with interest rates remaining also historically low for most of the year of 2018. As, invent as inventory started rising towards the end of 2018, we saw that go all the way through 2019 with inventory continuing to build all the way through the year. But at the same time, we also saw a tick, a constant tick up of interest rates through 2019. And note that with more inventory choices for buyers combined with less purchase power and higher interest rates, the market felt a noticeable deceleration in sales prices um, in 2019. So let's note that deceleration is not depreciation. Okay, so meaning that prices will not drop drastically, rather just price increases will take longer. It'll take, it'll take place at a slower, late, uh, a slower rate and sellers will need to be much more conscientious of pricing strategies based on the condition of their home. So inventory in, 19, in 2019 was overall lower than 2018, yet as mortgage rates rise and as they began to rise, this created enough pause for buyers to say, hey, I've had enough with this technical seller's market. And they clearly had the, had the feeling that, hey, you know what? I can wait. If prices are so high, I will let homes sit on market and wait for that perfect home to come to me where I am willing to pay that my top dollar for that property. So this was this is a great example of just seeing a deceleration of sales prices. If you go again, go back and look between 2018 and 2019. So as we embark upon 2022, the message for, mo for both buyers and sellers are to take advantage of the market while rates remain at their lowest. Sellers, you need multiple buyers and able and willing uh, buyers to compete for top dollar uh, for your home. So buyers will be tending to, to um, be more willing to pay top dollar and go over your ask price 
when interest rates are lower and money is cheaper for them. Um, so buyers, again, your time is, your, your job is to really get in there, get yourself pre-approved and take advantage of the lower purchase power or the higher purchase power you're gonna have with the lower interest rates while they're still with us. We aren't really expecting to see interest rates go over 4% in the year of 2022. But if you take a look at what your purchase power is as those rates increase, um, you, will, you will see the effect on your ability to compete for those competitive homes. I have excellent and proven strategies um, for both buyers and sellers, and I'm ready to help you with your real estate goals. If in markets such as ours here in the Bay Area, you definitely need to have a trustworthy diligent, knowledgeable, and strategic realtor helping you. I'm here to help you when you're ready. Reach out to Heather at heatherlanghomes.com. You can also reach me by messaging me. Give me a phone call, 408-207-3130. In the meantime, stay, stay safe. Get your uh, booster shots if you're eligible and be conscientious of those around us. Be kind. And I look forward to being back and sharing stats with you again next month as we start moving through the first quarter of 2022.